What's up Kellys, it's your girl Kiki and in today's video I'm going to be giving you the five best protein free leave-in conditioners for your low porosity hair so let's get straight into the video. Up first we have Kinky Curly Not Today. This is one of my favourites, I have used this myself, I'm not using it at the minute however this one is a top tier product kinky curly has some really nice ingredients it's pretty much 100 percent natural ingredients which i love and it only retails at about 13 14 pound so not too steep but still a good price for what it's worth this one contains some lovely ingredients organic mango fruit extract slippery elm marshmallow root lemongrass and um, some cetyl alcohol which is not or bad alcohol and a couple of other ingredients that I don't need to mention but if you buy this product just know that your hair is going to be moisturized for days next up we have innocence leave in sweet spirit again I've tried and tested myself absolutely love it for low porosity hair this one comes in more of a spray form so if you get build up really easily do not have to worry with this one because it is so lightweight however it is really moisturizing innocence is a really good quality hair care brand i love the ingredients and i love all of their products in the line we're going to get onto the ingredients list top ingredients are apart from water we've got aloe vera which is a great 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 one for hydration we've got glycerin another great product for drawing moisture into the hair and then we've got some hydrolyzed quinoa and some other things that i don't need to go into the details of but again a lovely product i would definitely recommend this one is on a little bit of the steeper end at 26 pounds but i would definitely recommend it if you are someone who needs certification that, that product's gonna work this one's for you next up you always hear me mentioning this brand it is Camille Rose it is the honey hydrate product no protein very very thin in consistency once applied initially it's a little bit weird to get over the um, the texture of it because it is literally like putting honey on your hair but it is nice it goes on the hair it goes absorbs easily and it leaves your hair feeling moisturized and shiny very lightweight after you've applied it some of the ingredients are honey of course olive oil castor oil aloe leaf sugarcane sweet orange fruit lemon fruit extract it's pretty much again very natural product if you're sensitive to anything you're probably not going to be sensitive to this because there's hardly got any chemicals in it this retails at about 15 16 pounds so not a bad price point but i do think this one is worth the money if you haven't tried it give it a go see if you like it i actually really like this product for my medium porosity hair as well we're gonna stick with the same brand for number four this is camille rose moisture milk if you're someone who would prefer more of like a creamy texture because the products that i mentioned previous to this were a little bit more on the lighter side kind of like not i don't want to see serum me because the kinky kelly not today is not like a conditioner creamy product it's kind of more of like a serum -y weird i can't really explain it but it's like a thick serum -y product obviously innocence is a spray so it's very light and honey hydrate is like kind of a tacky kind of honeyish product this one is a creamy creamy base leave-in like your regular leave-in conditioners so if you're someone who prefers that kind of creamier texture then this is probably going to suit you a little bit better i really like this one the smell is amazing the moisture again it's called moisture milk it does the job and it has some really nice ingredients rice bran oil aloe vera again macadamia oil this one is another really great one that i would highly recommend and i have used it myself you can pick the camille rose moisture milk up for about 12 pound moving on to the next product we have the as i am classic leave-in conditioner i don't think you can really go wrong with as i am they're one of those brands that just always delivers and the products and the integrity of the products are always 100 so if you haven't tried this one again add it to the list it contains coconut oil some saw palmetto apple fruit extract sugarcane extract 
if you're not a huge fan of coconut oil like if you really really hate it obviously maybe don't give this one a go but i really like this product again it's more of like your creamy consistency it's like a regular leave-in conditioner it does do the job it will provide you with moisture and you can pick this one up for about eight pounds depending on where you go for it but this is a really good price point for the product i really like this product also it was a staple in my routine for quite a while when i was doing more wash and goes and things like that so i would highly recommend this one as well that was my five best protein free leave-in conditioners drop some more in the comments if there's any i missed that you would really recommend for others to try and i will see you in the next one let's get this on mic is on mic is on what is going on i didn't iron this for a reason so i hate ironing